Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well in these crazy times. I'm sorry that this episode took a bit longer than expected to publish. I was having some issues. The software I use would just not export the images correctly. You also may have noticed that my Twitter account disappeared for a bit there. I don't want to waste the time and energy and focus going into the details of that, but let me just say that when it happened, absolutely no explanation was given to me by Twitter, and when I appealed and messaged and emailed Twitter four to five times, I heard absolutely nothing back from them for two months. And then suddenly, a few weeks ago, my account was put back online, and I received a totally nonsense, boilerplate, corporate-speak email from Twitter that pretended to explain what had happened, but in reality, didn't explain anything at all. I have to say, the way this all went down, seeing how quickly these platforms can just destroy everything you've been working on, everything you've been building for many, many, many years, in an instant, without any explanation at all, and without any legitimate recourse or ability to appeal whatsoever, it's made me have to think long and hard about how we proceed from here on out. And I've come up with a plan, which we started revealing a week or two ago, and which will be unfolding over the coming months. For those who follow me on Twitter, I will continue to post there as long as Twitter does not shut me down. But I recommend you follow me on other platforms, in particular Facebook, but also YouTube. And, well, I do have an Instagram, but that's definitely where I'm least active. I would go with Facebook first, although Facebook didn't s seem immune from similar shenanigans. As after my Twitter got shut down, I suddenly started getting fact check notices on my Facebook posts. It started with just one, then another, then three, and eventually there were six, with the severity getting worse and worse. My page seemed to start shutting down, and same for my Instagram as well. So, needless to say, I'm growing weary of putting all my eggs in these platforms' baskets. Eventually, all six fact-check notices were removed. I appealed and won six out of six. But the next month, ten new ones appeared, and it took two weeks and about 40 to 50 emails to get them all taken down. But again, in the end, all ten were removed. I appealed and won all 10 out of 10. In fact, if you want to know the whole truth, the editors at the fact check sources said they had no idea why this was even happening, that they had nothing to do with any of it. They had not rated even a single one of my posts. So make of that what you will. Still, it leaves me very wary, so a little over two weeks ago, I announced the first of several measures to expand and diversify and at the same time, reduce our exposure to certain less reliable platforms. Many of you probably know what I'm talking about. Our petition at change.org, calling for an investigation into Colin Diamond. You can find a link to the petition in the description, as well as on my Facebook and Twitter pages. I ask that if you follow me on any of these platforms, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram, please consider going to change.org and supporting our petition. If we get enough people to sign this, we will put pressure on the Australian government to investigate what Colin Diamond has done to Michael, and to Michael's family, and to Michael's estate. This is what this movement is all about. Truth and justice for Michael. As well as one more objective. A third purpose which I haven't really mentioned publicly before, even though this might be the biggest reason of all why we're doing this. Since the very beginning of this project over five years ago, my main source, Jane Martin, has had one overriding concern, the health, safety, and security of Tiger Lily. Having spent over a year around one of the Diamond Brothers, and during that time, having learned many pieces of information not known to the public, having come across specific documents, and having seen and experienced how these people operate, 
having overheard many conversations between Colin Diamond and Stephen Diamond. My source, Jane, is extremely concerned that these people are dangerous, extremely dangerous, and that Tiger Lily, Michael's only child, is in danger from these people. That if she goes after her father's estate, which she has absolutely every right and reason to do, these people stole the estate from her father and from his family and from her, then she is in serious danger as these people are not going to just give it to her. However much that estate is now worth, and I understand there is some uncertainty as to exactly what that figure now is, but whatever its actual worth, she is supposed to receive that full amount in just over a year on her 25th birthday, July 22nd, 2021. And if you think these guys are just going to give that entire estate over to her, you have no idea who these people are and what they're capable of. No matter who you talk to, and no matter what that person believes really happened to Michael, the two things that everybody close to this situation knows is that these guys stole Michael's estate and that they're dangerous. I can't tell you, I can't stress enough how many times I've heard this and how consistently I've heard it from journalists, from lawyers, from friends and others extremely close to the situation. They all say the same thing, that these people are dangerous. So that is the third purpose of this project, to protect Tiger Lily. My main source is extremely concerned that Tiger Lily is in grave danger, especially in the next several months, and especially over this next year plus. And the more people we have focused on this, the more eyeballs on this story, and the more people who actually understand what's really going on, the more difficult it will be for these people to try to do something untoward with everyone none the wiser. So please, everybody, go through my Twitter page, go through my Facebook page. I will be posting more materials about this all in the coming weeks and months, and my book will be coming out soon. So study up, do the research, get knowledgeable, and help us spread the truth about what really happened to Michael Hutchins and his estate. Let's get justice for Michael Hutchins, justice for his family, justice for his friends, and justice for the fans. And let's help protect Tiger Lily from these vile people who so brutally betrayed her father and still think they will get away with everything they've done. So with that being said, please sign our petition at www.change.org slash investigate Colin Diamond. You can find links at my Facebook page and Twitter page. My name is Claude Crow, and my handle is at Crow Claude on both platforms as well as in the description to this video. We've already amassed somewhere around 800 or 900 supporters in just two weeks, and our long-term goal is over 10,000. Thanks for all the help, everybody, and I'll see you guys in the next episode with some new developments and where I'll be going more in-depth into some important issues.